So at the end of row 10 you should have something that looks like this. So let's get on to the next part of the pattern. We're on to the front crutch part and it's three rows to this part. And we want to row one, work one single crochet into the next ten single crochets, work one double crochet in the next twenty double crochets, chain three and turn. So let's do the first part, work one single crochet in the next ten. So you would have done a chain one and turn from your previous row. And then we want to work 10 single crochets and the chain one counts as our first. So working into the back loops only, work across 10 single crochets. So the next part of our pattern says work one double crochet in the next 20 double crochets. So that was my 10th single crochet, so the next one should be, so that's my single crochet there. It's very hard to see because it's all the same colour, but just there is my single crochet. It's only tiny because it's a single, and the next one is my double, so it's a lot taller, twice as high. So that's my next one, so we know that's going to be a double. So we're working into the back loops only. And we want to do 20 double crochets in the back loops. And remember what I said, you should have 20 on the previous row, so we just need to double crochet along until we get to our last double. So our 20 stitches will bring us up to here where our last double crochet is. So go along and do your 20 stitches. And I've got just one more stitch to do because this is my last double and the next is a single. And then going back to our pattern, we've worked one double in the next 20. We've done that in the next 20 double crochets, but now we're going to chain three and turn because we are working on this little bit in here, the crutch part, so we don't obviously need the leg section, do we? Because we need to do the crutch part up in there. So that's why we are stopping after our 20, chaining three and turning and going back in the opposite direction. So it should look like this, you have done your 10 rows and then our next row is going to finish here because there's our leg and this part is going to be our crutch. So we want to chain 3 and turn, chain 3 and then turn around and our next row is row 2. And it says, row two, work one double crochet in the next 19 double crochets and then work one single crochet in the next 10 single crochets. Now we're only working 19 because remember the chain three from the previous row counts as our first stitch. So that's why we're only doing 19 because 19 plus the chain three equals 20, which was the pattern that we were working with before. So you want to work one double crochet in the next 19 double crochets. So going into the back loops only into our second stitch because this counts as our first. Our second one is here. So going into the back loop. First of all we need to yarn over because we're doing a double. And working the back loops only we want to work 19 double crochets and in total that will give us 20 because our chain 3 counts as one stitch. So I'm up to my 19th one which is here so it's still a double so we're yarning over going into the back loop completing our stitch. So that will give us a total of 20 stitches so it's 19 plus the chain 3 equals 20. And now the pattern says, 
work one single crochet into the next 10 single crochets, chain one and turn. So we are up to our single crochets here, so we're going back loops only, working single crochets across until we get to the end, that will be our 10, and then we're going to chain one and turn. So you've done your chain one and turn. And our next row is row three. And it says, row three, work one single crochet into the next ten single crochets. Work one double crochet in the next nineteen. Work one double crochet in the top of the chain three, chain nine and turn. Do not break off your yarn. So let's work the first part. Work one single crochet in the next ten. And I'm sorry if the lining isn't as good as it normally is. It's earlier in the day than I normally work and also the sun isn't out. Because I sit near the window as you may not know or may know. So if the sun's not out the lining isn't as good. So we're working back loops only. That first chain one was our first stitch, so that's our second. That's number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten, <coughs> excuse me. And the next part says work one double crochet into the next nineteen double crochets. So we know we need to change our stitch because, like before, our stitch has changed here from single to double. So that's yarning over, going into the back loops only, working across, working. 19 double crochets into the back loops only. And once we've done our 19, so I've got one more to go, it says work one double crochet into the top of the chain three. So this is the chain three from the previous row here. So you're going into the top, so that's into the third chain. So you can count up. See so one, two, and three. So yarning over, going into the chain three, and you want to go under two loops. Sometimes if you put it between the V, you can still pick up two loops. That's the way I like to do it. Some people, you can grab the first loop and then grab the back loop, but I find it a bit tricky. So I just go into that and you pick up two loops. There's one at the back that you pick up. So that's completing that double crochet there. And then we want to chain nine and turn and we don't break off our yarn so chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. So do not break off the yarn. Now we want to work our left hand front and left hand rear. And that's a total of twenty one rows. Row 1, you want to work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Because we just did our chain 9 up here. And then one single crochet in the next 7 chains. Work one double crochet in the next 20 double crochets. And work one single crochet in the next 10 single crochets. Chain 1 and turn. So let's work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So you're going to have your chain that's sticking out like this. We're going to go into the second chain from the hook. Now we don't count the one that's on our hook, we never do. Our first one is here, and our second one is here. Going into there, 
working a single crochet, so that's yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull over through two. And then it says work one single crochet in the next seven chains. So going across into our chain stitches, working our single crochet. So we've done our one single crochet in the next seven, so you'll have this little arm hanging out here. And now we want to work one double crochet in the next 20 double crochets. So we can yarn over going into our next stitch, which is here. And completing our double. And then we go into the next one. And we're going to do this for 20 stitches. So you know your number 20 is on your last double crochet on the row below. The next part of our pattern says work one single crochet in the next 10 single crochets. So that is working one single crochet in the remaining stitches. So working into the back loops only. And working your single crochet. And doing this the whole way across. And then working your chain one and turn. Row two is work one single crochet in the next ten single crochets, work one double crochet in the next twenty double crochets, and work one single crochet in the next eight single crochets, chain one and turn. So first of all, let's do one single crochet in the next ten single crochets. And remembering that our chain one counts from a pre previous row counts as our first stitch so going into the second stitch working a single crochet in the back loop only and work across until we have 10 stitches or until we get to our first double crochet stitch and that's why this pattern is so good because you don't have to count your stitches. If your previous row is correct, you know you've only got to work until you get to that first double crochet. So I've got two more. And the next part of our pattern reads work one double crochet in the next 20 double crochets. So we know our next one's our first one. So yarning over, going into the back loop. Yarn over and then complete our double crochet stitch and work across until we have done 20 stitches. And this will bring you up to the next part of our pattern where we work our 8 single crochets in these little stitches here. So working across here I know that my next stitch is my number 20. And it's also the last double crochet on the previous row, so I'm working my double crochet into there. And the next part of my pattern says work one single crochet in the next eight single crochets, chain one and turn. So I want to work one single crochet in each of these stitches across, so that's going into the back loop only. This whole project is worked in the back loop. And I must say I'm quite a fan of the back loops only. Love the effect that it gives off with this ribbed effect. So work one single crochet across until we get to the end. And in our last one we want to work a single crochet and we should have eight stitches. How do we know we've got eight stitches? Go back, see where your first your last double crochet was there, and count across. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hang on, I'm trying to count for the viewfinder and I can't see it properly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I know that's my last stitch. And then we're going to chain one and turn. Row three, work one single crochet in the next eight singles and work one double in the next 20 doubles. Work one single in the next 10 singles, chain one and turn. 
So let's do our one single crochet in the next eight. So you've done your chain one and done a turn. That counts as your first stitch going across and then working into the back loops only for eight stitches. So the next part of our pattern says work one double crochet in the next 20 double crochets. And my next stitch is my double crochet. And I'm going to work across until I have 20 stitches and I'm working in the back loops only. And then the next part of our pattern says work one single crochet in the next 10. So that's going into the back loop only, working a single crochet. If you hear funny noises, my dog's sitting right next to me. It's a bit of a cold day today, so he's about to come inside. Poor little thing's only got short fur. And it's a breezy, cold day out there. Which is a perfect day to make some videos on some fabulous patterns. Okay, so we now need to chain one and turn. And we're on to our next row. Row four. Work one single crochet in the next 10 single crochets, work one double crochet in the next 20, and then work one single crochet in the next eight single crochets, chain one and turn. Now you should be able to be getting the hang of this pattern now. It is very, very ri Ugh. spit it out. It is very well written, this pattern. And I love it because it repeats itself. It's not a hard pattern. It's great for beginners. It's great for anyone really. It's great for a beginner who's learning. And it's great for us experienced ones as well, who want a really nice, easy and simple pattern that we don't have to rack our brains over to try and figure out what on earth it's talking about. Because I'm sure we've all had those patterns. And the next part of our row four says work one double crochet in the next 20 double crochets. And my lovely friend Kat, who designed this pattern, has written a lot more patterns. So there will be plenty of more videos of her work. I'll put the link in for her blog, so you can go and check out patterns that she's written. Some of you may not need the video to work the pattern. Some of you may be able to read the pattern and work it by yourself. Some of you might even have learnt from this series of videos of the One Piece Wonders. Just learn enough for it to help you read the other patterns. So keep going until we have our 20 stitches. So once you've worked your 20 stitches, we're going to work one single crochet in the next eight stitches. So this is our little part here. We're going to work a single crochet so that's not wrapping your yarn like I just did. Just going into the stitch and working your single crochet in the black back loops only. My teeth aren't in properly today, aren't they? I'm getting a bit tongue tied. So working across until we get to the end. 